So since many people requested it, I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to do the cube explosion I used in this template. Uh, I hope you can understand me because I'm recording with my phone at the moment because I don't have a microphone. So let's get started by adding in a spiral. Set the height to about 1 and about 4 turns. Set the origin to geometry and snap it back to the center. Uh, go into edit mode and rotate it. And now I'm just scale it a little bit down. Uh, make sure to scale it in edit mode. So let's call this path. Uh, then I'm gonna make a cube. Scale it down a little bit like this. And I'm gonna bevel it slightly so it looks a bit better. Um, then we are gonna add a object constraint and follow path. Um, check follow curve and set the target to the path we just created. Then set this to X. If you click on animate path, it should go around the spline we created. So then I'm gonna duplicate it and set the offset to 2. So it will have like a second cube. And now uh, that's the boring part of this tutorial. We have to duplicate the cube and set the offset to 4 and duplicate it again, set it to 6 and yeah, I'm gonna make this 50 times because I used an offset of 2 and the spline duration of 100 so I'm gonna play this in a much faster speed so you don't get bored So now, uh, as you can see, if we play the animation, the cubes are just all going until there. And this is because the evaluation time is keyframed limitless. So I go to frame zero, frame one, I mean, clear the keyframe, set a new keyframe, and then I go to, let's say, frame 60. This th the frame where the cubes will explode and then to 100 then insert keyframe so now it's looking much better but we want to start them all at the same time so I'm gonna set the frames to 1000 at frame 1 then Go to frame 60 and set the frames back to 100. And add another keyframe. And now it's looking much better. But it's at the beginning it's a bit too slow. And at the end it's a bit too fast. So what we're gonna do is go into the graph editor. Click normalize. So you don't have these like super high values. 
and then select the if it, the path length and set this to um busy yeah. then modify the curve so it's like this let's see now that's much better yeah gonna make a bit more That's looking good. So now I'm gonna move the path to the second layer because we don't need it at the moment. I go to frame 60 and now I'm gonna select all of them. And here click on 3D cursor. And by checking this little um, arrow you can press S without scaling the cubes bigger. So now I'm gonna hit insert location, then like 10 frames, let them like explode. You can play around with this uh, Make it a bit more random. Insert location. Wait. Gonna make it even bigger like this. Set location and now we play the animation. We have this like cube explosion. I'm just gonna go to the last frame, scale it slightly up, add another keyframe. Now it's looking much better. Yeah. Now you could also select every cube and create an own animation if you want the cubes to be like in a circle or whatever after the explosion. You could do this but it's a lot of work. Yeah. But now you know how to do this cube animation and have fun with it. Don't use it too often because I don't want it to get like instant mainstream. Yeah, that's it for now. Bye.